Hello, my name is Skylar Rankin, and I am presenting my graphing calculator applet. I will begin by showing you the applet straight away. There we go. And I will enter an equation here. Ah, and we get something like this. This is a graphed equation on a coordinate plane. I use graphs like this every day, or nearly every day, in my Algebra 2 class, which I took last year, and my, in my pre-calculus class this year, we have to use this a whole lot. So this is a very useful thing to have when you want to have a head start in a mathematics class. I would usually do this with a graphing calculator. The ones we use are these ones here. Uh, this is a Texas Instrument uh, TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. Uh, this creates a very crude picture though, and you can't you can, you can upload it to a computer, but it's very difficult and the picture ends up being just as crude as the one you see here. This is a much smoother red line on a visually appealing surface, and since this is an applet, this can go on the internet and can easily be put into a Word document if you need to make a presentation. Now this has another function, you can show or hide the inverse of a function, and that's useful for understanding a different concept within mathematics, uh, so I put it in. Uh, you can also change the zoom. Right now it's a 10 by 10 and that looks pretty good, so I don't think I'll change that. Unless I want to change it to a 5 by 5, why don't we do that? We could change that to 5 and there we go. Now we're a bit more zoomed in on our graph. This function right here is generally used to find the maximums of things. If you had a bit of fencing and you wanted to find out the maximum area, you would find out the top of this R here and that would give you the maximum er area um, at which you could use that fencing for. Now, physics and other science classes also use graphs like this, but they would use ones more like this one. Give me a second here. Now, we have a parabola, and what this is, is the perfect projection of a flight path of an object through the air. So you can see how this can be used to help understand concepts in other classes, specifically science and mathematics classes, because they're the ones that generally use graphs like this. Although statistics and economics classes also generally use this a lot because it requires a lot of mathematics to calculate these things. Another thing is that this program only took about a week to make. So that something that you could make in only a week can pretty much help you your entire high school career in being in school. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Have a nice day.